Kinara wa ODM Raila Odinga leo amezindua rasmi uongozi mpya wa chama hicho akisema kwamba ana imani na viongozi na haoni kwamba kutakuwa na tatizo lote la kuendeleza sera na misimamo ya chama hicho katika hafla hiyo Raila alikashifu vikali mauaji yaliyotekelezwa wakati wa maandamano na kusema kwamba ODM itahakikisha kwamba haki za wanadamu zinalindwa kwa dhati Kevin Mtai alihudhuria uzinduzi huo akaiandaa taarifa hii Kamati ya kitaifa ya baraza la chama cha ODM kinakongamana Mombasa kujadiliana masuala na jinsi ya kusonga mbele na chama bila kinara wake Raila Odinga. Odinga sasa ametwika majukumu rasmi kwa viongozi wapya wa kiongozi wa gavana wa Kisumu Profesa Anyangnyongo kama kaimu kiongozi. Manaibu wake watatu ambao ni gavana wa Mombasa Abdul Samad Sharif Nasser, gavana wa Kisii Simba Arati na Geoffrey Osotsi ambaye ni seneta wa Vihiga. Katibu mkuu ni seneta wa Nairobi Edwin Stifuna mwenyekiti wa chama akipewa gavana wa Homa Bay Gladys Wanga. Mimi na kiki ya kwamba chama iko mikononi ya dereva ambaye anaweza. <laughs> Hawa madereva wote najua wanaweza. Mimi na kika sina wasiwasi wa wote. Kwa ODM itazidi kuimarika na kuendelea mbele. Odinga anasema uamuzi huo uliafikiwa wiki chache zilizopita akiwataka viongozi hao kuzingatia kanuni za chama na kusimamia kikamilifu uchaguzi wa ODM wa mashinani utakaofanyika mwezi ujao. Hiyo uchaguzi tunataka ifanyike kwa njia ya kidemokrasia. Hatutaki fujo. Nataka ODM itangulie na ionyeshe vyama vingine ya kwamba uchaguzi unaweza kufanyika kwa njia ya kirafiki. Vile vile Odinga anasema alitamaushwa na mauaji ya kikatili dhidi ya baadhi ya vijana walioshiriki katika maandamano akidai kwamba baadhi yao walikuwa ni wafuasi wa ODM. Akitaka hatua kali zichukuliwe dhidi ya maafisa wa polisi waliotekeleza unyama huo. We condemn in the strongest terms possible this use of force against very innocent people on the loss of life. We say that justice must be allowed to take place against the culprits of these heinous acts. Kadhalika anasema chama cha ODM kitaendelea na azma yake ya kupigania haki za wakenya akielezea msimamo wake hasa wakati wa taharuki uliosababishwa na maandamano dhidi ya mswada wa fedha. We face two tough options. Allow our country to continue with this descent into chaos and statelessness or rise above populist considerations and provide leadership for the sake of Kenya's future. In so doing, you put the party at the service of the country. He responded to the worries and fears of Kenyans that our country could resolve even its most protracted problems and political differences without having to lose a nation. Odinga sasa anasema amejiondoa ili kushughulikia kampeni yake ya uenyekiti wa AUC. Kevin Mutai, NTV, Kakao County Mombasa.